Good morning, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and exceedingly glad in it. First Corinthians 16 and 9 says, There's a wide open door for a great work here, although many oppose me. Well, I greet you with the weekly pastoral greetings for uh, the week. And just very, very quickly, our annual Bible literacy campaign continues. This week, we're doing readings 241 through 247. Again, 241 through 247. And as I've expressed to you before, if you're behind, keep going. Um, I was very candid and transparent with you all last week to let you know that I am behind. I'm catching up, but I'm behind. Um, and part of it is because of a lot of different things, but I'm also doing a separate annual Bible literacy campaign. So I'm actually doing two, okay? Uh, and I've done it before. This has happened before, uh, but I always manage to catch up and get it going. So that's why I encourage you, don't stop, keep going. All right, Wednesday and Friday morning, our teleconference prayer encounter continues. Uh, this week, Wednesday evening is the last week of our summer sabbatical for Wednesday evenings. And we will be picking it back up the following week, the following week, which will be um, the first Wednesday in September. All right. And then this is an odd numbered month that's going to begin um, on Thursday. Wow. And um, so subsequently, this coming Saturday is going to be teleconference prayer encounter. It's the first Saturday of an odd number month, and we're going to have first Saturday teleconference prayer encounter. So we're looking forward to you coming and joining us as we continue to pray. Uh, we believe in being a praying church. It is part of our DNA. Amen. Uh, we are people of worship. We are people of the word, people of worship, people of warfare, and people who witness. And warfare is the spiritual maneuver of prayer. All right. And then first Sunday is coming up okay this is going to be the first sunday that we round up again and the lord's supper will be served so we're going to ask you to prepare yourselves for that uh especially those of you that are still watching by facebook stream all right and then we're coming up on these great events uh the second sunday is our back to school encounter and we're very excited about it and we are planning to have some supplies here for young people, but we want it to be a special time of encourage, encouragement and impartation for our students, parents, families, uh, teachers, faculty and staff, and community and everyone at large. So please prepare to come on out and be blessed and to partake of what God is doing. And then the following Sunday, the third Sunday, is our day of celebrating relationships, our re-entry Sunday. We're going to be officially re officially marking re-entry. We're expecting to have some refreshments afterward, but also uh, we want to just just connect on a personal level and um, just present Jesus in a way that He hasn't been before to those who may not be aware of their need to have a relationship with Him. And so we would love to see you in the place, Amen. And so that is it. Well. God be with you and heaven smile upon you. Now, here's the thought for the week, which came from the powerful message that was delivered by Minister Corey on forgiveness. Some of us have been in things so long that we're deceiving ourselves. Mm. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, you are our strength and our redeemer. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above that we could ask or think, according to the power that works in us, unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and lift his countenance upon you and be gracious unto you and give you peace and be with you now and forevermore. It is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that we say and pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Take care.